All right. Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning back in once again to the original Queen Amadai Shakur show. Also, thanks to those of you tuned in on the Queen Amadai Shakur TV show. I'm your host, Queen Amadai Shakur, and this is another dose of your Sunday vitamins. So let's just get right into it. Now, as you're coming in, please feel free to go ahead and subscribe to the channel or unsubscribe, whatever you prefer. But if you do subscribe, be sure to click that notification bell and click the word all so that you're notified each time the Queen Goddess goes live. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Dr. Underscore A Shakur. You can also follow me on TikTok at Dr. A Shakur and on Twitter at DGoddess27. Also, don't forget about the Queen Amadai Shakur fan pages on Instagram and Twitter. Okay, be sure to double check and make sure that you're still subscribed to these channels because you know how people mysteriously become unsubscribed. With that all being said, let's get into it. Okay, so let's talk about R. Kelly. Now, just a couple of days ago, R. Kelly's album was released without permission. It was unauthorized, okay? They said someone just stole it and uh, released it or whatever on bootleg. Uh, but anyway, when all this happened, uh, they said that these streaming platforms, you know, they removed it quickly. Uh, they say R. Kelly's attorney said that an album uploaded to Spotify and Apple Music on Friday was not actually authorized by the singer. Now, the 13-track set called I Admit It was released online Friday, appeared on streaming platforms as a new album. But hours after its release, it was no longer available. They say it's an unauthorized release of music. It's stolen music. That's what attorney Jennifer Bonjean told The Hollywood Reporter. Now, Bonjean said that a police report was filed some time ago because his masters were stolen. But there's not much of an appetite to investigate these things. People have had access to his intellectual property rights uh, that are attempting to profit off of it. But unfortunately, that does not include Mr. Kelly. When he was arrested, he had studio equipment that was taken, she says. His masters are missing. The music is somewhere out there, but who has it and who has profited off of it, they don't entirely know. And this is all so crazy. And very likely, uh, as she said, the police are not going to you know, put any serious effort into finding out who's done these things. I Admit It included the 19-minute track, I Admit It, which Kelly released in 2018 on SoundCloud. Now, this time, the song was broken up into three parts to close the album as he sings about the S abuse claims against him. They say the album features song titles like Last Man Standing, Where's Love When You Need It, Freaky Sensation, and Air. The album also included the upbeat dance-flavored songs, I Got It, and good old days. On Planet, he sings about um, the current state of the world. You know, police fighting people, people fighting police. Every time I look up children dying on TV. That's basically what that song's talking about. It's called Planet. Now, the digital credits show that Kelly wrote each of the songs alone with Dee Johnson receiving producer credit. Bon Jean, the attorney, said that she spoke to Kelly on Friday about the release. She said this has happened in the past where his unauthorized music is uploaded online. But that's usually on YouTube and not Spotify and Apple Music. She says he kind of is like, yeah, this has been going on. So I'm not surprised, she says. Um, but, of course, it's very upsetting. It's very upsetting to see your body of work out there in that way. And so, as we all know, R. Kelly was sentenced to three years in prison. I'm sorry, 30 years in prison uh, this year following a trial in New York where the jury found him guilty of sex trafficking and racketeering. A second trial in Chicago ended with his conviction on charges of producing child pornography and enticing girls for sex. Uh, so they say Legacy Records, the Sony label that hand is, handles the archives of Sony-owned labels, including Columbia, Epic, and RCA, uh, that was the label listed on the digital platforms for the album. But a representative for Legacy said it did not issue this music. Now, Sony and RCA famously dropped the embattled singer in 2019, uh, just two weeks after the viral and Emmy-nominated documentary series Surviving R. Kelly drew fresh attention to those abuse allegations against him. Uh, so anyway, this is all so crazy. But let me just go to a clip. <laughs> of Boosie Badass just enjoying himself to R. Kelly's song. Honey, he was jamming and uh, was very disgruntled, I would say, after he found out that it had been taken down. So let me share my screen and go to that. 
as you all can see. Now, I'm not going to post the, uh, I'm not going to turn the volume up because I don't need any copyright issues with screw tube. Look at him. Just jamming, honey. It must have been sounding good to Boosie. Pay attention. Okay. So anyway, aside from that, hold on. Kel R. Kelly came out and spoke about it um, after the music was released, unauthorized. He came out and spoke about it from prison. And also Boosie made a post about it on social media, which Boosie said, they took the album down. What the F? That shite was jamming. What's going on? So he can't drop albums because of his troubles? Y'all know Boosie always has something to say. Okay, now, um, let's hear what R. Kelly himself had to say because he spoke out from prison about the album. I'm going to go to that clip. Likes up, everyone. Don't forget to like and share. Thank you in advance. I saw the news. I talked to uh, Jennifer earlier today. And um, apparently somebody that faked an album called I Admit It and put it out there as if it was me putting it out. And I'm not putting out any albums. I haven't put out any albums. So, you know, I'm not even having any interest in putting out any albums because my only focus is the appeal and everything else. But it seems like somebody wants this album out to mess with the appeal because... Why would I put an album out called I Admit It? Okay, so that's right there. It makes no damn sense. So I just want people to know it. And, and, and Jennifer, let people know it. Whoever let them know that that's not my album. I wouldn't even put an album out right now while I'm dealing with all of this stuff anyway. Okay, and I hope people recognize my voice and know that. Okay. So, um, yeah, that, you know, and um, I, I wish they had found out who did it. What's going on right now is I uh, just saw the news. So this is also crazy. So the man didn't even title the song. I admit it. I thought that sounded kind of crazy. That sounds just as crazy as when uh, OJ wrote that book called If I Did It, Here's How or something like that. Y'all remember that? OJ sit down somewhere. That was all crazy. So yeah, so basically this was unauthorized and he did not give the consent for it to be released, nor did his people. Uh, they don't know who's doing these things, but clearly there's there's an attack, you know, on R. Kelly and people trying to steal his music to profit from it for themselves. And I wouldn't be surprised if the record labels are absolutely the ones behind it. You know, you can put nothing past these devils. They could be sitting there pretending to be oblivious to it and at the same time be the main ones doing it. Now, I'm not saying they are, but I put nothing past them, okay, when it comes to nefariousness, especially as it pertains to making money and leaving these artists out here broke after they put in all the work. Okay, so... And, you know, some people want to say, oh, well, R. Kelly, you know, he's got these charges and this, that, and the third. But, yeah, he has the charges. Uh, but that's not going to make me stop listening to his music. And I told you all that before, because as I recall, no one stopped listening to Elvis's music when they had those same things going around about him. Of course, he didn't get arrested and charged with any of it, mind you. But the fact that he was dating Priscilla when she was 14 and he was like 24 and in fact moved her into Graceland and we're supposed to think they didn't have relations. OK, they can sit down somewhere and not to mention the picture that came out with him and some teenage girls who looked no older than 15, all just huddled around him and he's hugging all over them and kissing them and all that stuff. And then let's not forget those abortion allegations. So I'm just saying, and Jerry Lee Lewis marrying his 13 year old cousin, he was 23. I mean, these are the things that some other people in society don't get demonized and vilified for. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not condoning R. Kelly's actions. I'm just saying that there's always a double standard when it comes to, you know, certain people, as we all know. Uh, so anyway, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. And uh, I want to thank you all for tuning in. Don't forget to like and share. And please make sure that you are still subscribed to the channels. Now, I will see you all in the morning for your morning wake-up calls. Till next time, beloveds, enjoy the rest of this Sunday. And I will talk to you all again soon. Peace.